Yo, Arsenal news today. Let's get into it. We got a lot to talk about, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, Arsenal are still in the pursuit for Mikel Moreno, and we do have a slight update on that. We also have an update on Eddie and Ketia as let's go. We might actually be getting another bid, a third bid. We will be receiving a third bid for Eddie and Ketia, and that is great news, ladies and gentlemen. And Arsenal might be ramping up their efforts to get an attacker. Could it be Victor Jokeres? Could it be Leroy Sané? Could it be somebody else, Pedro Neto? We'll find out. But before we go any further, do me a favor, please do hit that like button on this video. Please do hit that subscribe button and let's get this show started. Arsenal news today. Bang. Yes, 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 people. So before we go any further, I just want to talk about uh, Urien Timber and Calafuri did not feature in Arsenal's game versus Leverkusen, which we won 4-1. And I did do a video on this recently, so you guys can go check out my, my match reaction on that. But Mikel Arteta in that interview in that situation did mention that timber was having some sort of injuries some load-bearing injuries of course as being reported from numerous sources and Mikel Arteta himself did also state that Calafuri was admitted from the team as he's just a new signing and yeah timber was feel, feeling a little bit of discomfort also uh next um Mikel Moreno big update on Mikel Moreno now we know Liverpool are looking to get the deal for Zubimendi over the line, and this could negatively affect Arsenal. That's what we were thinking. But no, rumor has it that uh, Mikel Moreno has not been included. Yes, Mikel Moreno has not been included in, in the Real Sociedad team for the upcoming games uh, that Sociedad have. Mikel Moreno has not uh, been called up as Arsenal talks still are ongoing in advance, but the the uh, the deal structure and the payment terms to be uh, uh to be clarified that's what's going on right now with the Mikel Moreno situation that is uh that is what's going on and we're going to talk about Zuba Mendy in a second but I just wanted to keep it on Mikel Moreno for a second as that is the main issue at this moment in time where is the Mikel Moreno deal happening why has it slowed down well Arsenal are still the favorites to sign him. Arsenal are most likely going to sign him. This is the most likely destination. He has turned down Atletico Madrid and other Spanish clubs as he's rejected them to join Arsenal. And this is the potential suitor and favorites for him to join. It's Arsenal. So don't panic. He will become an Arsenal player. Mikel Moreno right now, it's just... We just have to wait and see what happens from there. We just have to wait and see. Now... Before we go any further, please do hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we need to talk about Zubamendi. Now, the Zubamendi situation is quite interesting because Zubamendi is a player that Arsenal, yes, we have been rejected by Zubamendi in the past. We have been rejected by Zubamendi. We cannot sit here and say, oh, we never bid for him. We actually were seriously interested in him. We we had some sort of pre-agreement with him, and then he, he changed his mind last minute. Now, Zubamendi... To Arsenal, I thought it was a done deal at times. I thought Zuba Mendy was going to happen. But now Liverpool are getting more and more confident that they're going to get a deal done for Zuba Mendy. This was about 12 hours ago that we were hearing about this. David Onstein did tweet numerous times about, about Zuba Mendy this, Zuba Mendy that. So let's just see. So the first thing the first thing that David Onstein said that uh, Liverpool are now aware that they're interested in Zuba Mendy. And the reason why I'm talking about this is because this was a player that we were interested in, we were targeting. And if Zubamendi does end up at Liverpool, will this negatively affect Arsenal? I don't think it will negatively affect Arsenal's potential to get the deal done for Mikel Moreno. But it is quite sad that a player that we were heavily interested in did not want to join us and is willing to accept a deal to join Liverpool. But of course, Liverpool will have to decide to trigger the 60 million release clause. And that is the main source of of uh, discussion at this moment in time on the Liverpool side of things as the player would be willing to join them. So that deal might be stalled. But if Zubamendi does join Liverpool, I'll be quite a, a surprised and perplexed why he wants to join Liverpool but not want to join Arsenal. It's, it, it's very perplexing since we are in a very similar situation right now. I would argue we're even in a better situation than Liverpool right now. But yeah, that's a conversation for another day. Um, but yeah, if Liverpool do get the deal done, that's a great signing. If Arsenal 
if Arsenal get to make a Moreno deal done, that's a good signing for us. Either way, I think both teams come out with a deal with players that they need. But yeah, uh, moving on from that situation there. Also, Arsenal are pushing on uh, for Yacarez. Arsenal are, are, are continuing their pursuit for the Sporting Lisbon star, Victor Yacarez. According to uh, Cordella Sport, the Gunners are very active in their bid for Yacarez. The North London club are unlikely to move for Napoli star Victor Ozyman due to his expensive release clause. Thus, Arsenal uh, are ramping up their interest in the uh, in the Swedish international. Now, one thing I don't get is I don't think we're gonna get every everything we want. Unfortunately, I I just I know we need a striker. I know we uh, I know it'd be nice to get a striker. I know it'd be nice to get a winger. I know it'd be nice to get a midfielder. I don't think we're gonna get all three. I think it's gonna be either one or the other. I think either we get the midfielder over the line or we get the winger over the line. I don't think we get both. So we're going to have to wait and see what happens there and how that escalates. But at this moment in time, I don't think anything is happening with the Victor Yokura situation. But yeah, that's just me. Uh, moving on. Uh, yeah, we've already spoken about Mikel Moreno. Mikel Moreno, Fabrizio Romano gave us an update on Mikel Moreno. And before we go on to the next update, that Fabrizio Romano gave us. Let me just go back and look at this. He did recently tweet 16 minutes ago, Arsenal remain active to complete the Mickey Moreno deal. More steps follow. Moreno agreed personal terms with Arsenal club. Keep waiting on the deal structure. Yeah, we've already spoken about this. And he, then he mentions Atletico are informed that Moreno's desire is to join Arsenal. Yeah, we already know this. We already know this. This is not new news. But you know what is new news? This right here. This got me super excited, ladies and gentlemen. Remember a couple of days ago when Arsenal rejected the bid for um, for Eddie Nketiah, 27 million euros? If we get the 35 or 30 million that we wanted for Eddie Nketiah, I am taking it in a heartbeat. I am not hesitating. I am taking that offer in a heartbeat. I think Eddie Nketiah is a decent player, but if we can get 35 to 30 million for Eddie Nketiah, the next bid that Marseille give to us, whatever it is, as long as it's more than 27 million that they offered us last time, accept it, please. Because that means his sale could help us and it's pure profit that could benefit us for the next signing. Please, Edu and Arsenal, accept the bid and sell Eddie Nketiah. It will massively go towards helping helping us get some business done for the rest of the window. And I think this will be amazing for Arsenal. So please do, please do, please do this. Oh, uh, the way I would, I would, I would be so happy if we can get a, a really good deal for, for him. Oh my God, that would be amazing. Now, with that being said, is there anything else of major note that we need to discuss? We've spoken about Victor Yakar, we've spoken about Eddie Nketia. There is some rumors floating about, about uh certain Leroy Sane. Now Arsenal look uh, are looking to make fi- uh, some moves in the end of the window, and there was a mystery German that we were linked to. The mystery German could still potentially be Leroy Sané, as rumor has it that Arsenal have looked at Leroy Sané. Leroy Sané could be leaving Bayern Munich, and he could be the player that we go back into for the end of the window. I don't think it makes financial sense, Leroy Sané, to go drop 60 million, 40 million on his, on his, on his, uh, on him, plus pay his wages, which would be close to 280, which is our highest paid player currently, Kai Havertz. Does he does he want to be on the same wages and to have a sixty million pound transfer fee? If you're looking for that kind of player, you're looking at somebody who's going to be arguably a starter week in week out. I think if we sign Leroy Sané, he's a good player, but he would be a squad player. He's not going to be somebody who's starting week in week out, and it'd be a quite heavy bill to pay for a squad player. I'd rather go get Neto. I'd rather go get Nico Williams. I like Leroy Sané, but if he can maybe take a pay cut, that would make sense. The transfer fee plus the wages, I just don't think it makes financial sense. The quality of the player, though, definitely makes financial sense. Does definitely make sense. It's just the financial side doesn't make sense. And then, yeah, um, enough about, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, we got to talk about this. So Mikel Arteta has built a reputation uh, as a manager of being a little bit crazy and coming up with crazy ideas. The, the idea that he came up with today 
is nuts. Arteta has hired professional pickpocketers to be around the players. As uh, to, to, this is crazy. So Arteta hired professional pickpocketers whilst whilst uh, uh, at our, uh, at the player dinner at dinner with players, and they would uh, they went around the table to pitch phones and wallets, etc. And at the end, Arteta, uh, Arteta asked the players to empty their pockets with several missing keys and items. This was to teach the squad the importance of being alert and prepared for all things, as reported to The Athletic. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is insane. Arteta has taken has taken management to another level. This is something that is... Do you guys think this is necessary or unnecessary? And do you think this is something that can get caught, cat, that can catch on in the future? Because Arteta's motivational or management tactics are definitely slightly different to other people. And I just find this, I find this a little bit unhinging and hilarious, but I like it because because Arteta is just different like that. I like him like that. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Not much more to be talking about. Um, would you take Leroy Sané at Arsenal? Do you think we'll go back in for Victor Jokerez later in the window? Um, Mikel Moreno will get done, just patience. Thank God Marseille have submitted another bid for Eddie and Ketia. And that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm quite excited that we could be getting rid of Eddie and Ketia and we might bring in another forward. Let's wait and see. And I'm out. Peace. Love for the love, people. Catch you guys in the next one. Please do like a video on the way out and let me know what you guys think about everything I just asked you. Peace.